Hey guys, and welcome back to another uni vlog. My voice is gone for some reason. I think it's just the morning. Thought I would do a weekly vlog whilst I've got my exams this week. For those of you that haven't watched my recent vlogs, basically, I have a whole week of exams. It's all squished into one week. Been revising all over Christmas, which has been a bit shitty. And yeah, so I've got an exam today, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I woke up feeling very, very sick, despite the smile on my face. I felt very nervous and ill. I have my professional practice exam today, which basically involves a lot of maths and like scientific method and experiments and things like that. So I have a little girl, okay, me and Aiden were practicing a lot of the math stuff when I was at home because Aiden does physics at uni and he had to do like, has to do a lot of maths. It's basically like half maths and half physics. And um, he's been helping me a lot, which has been really good. So I've gone through everything. I feel like I know everything, but I don't know whether I can apply it, if you know what I mean. Like I feel like I'll just stress out if the questions are a bit weird. Who knows? So I thought I'd film my whole exam week so I can tell you guys like how I felt before the exams, after. Show me doing a little bit of revision in between, maybe motivate you guys to do some work for whatever you've got to do um and yeah also i completely forgot to say the other day on the vlog but i got my professional practice coursework grade back which actually counts for 50 percent of my module so the exam today counts for the other 50 percent so i got my coursework back and i got 82 percent on my video interview that i had to film which i filmed on the day that i had that complete breakdown and i filmed it called anti-vlogmas um, so I'm actually completely in shock because that video, um, I just had to brave it and put a smile on my face even though I was feeling the worst I've ever felt in my life. So to get 82%, which is a first, is just incredible. And then I got 72% on my CV and cover letter for that assignment. So overall I've worked it out and I've got a first in my coursework. So fingers crossed I can get like at least a 2-1 in my exam today. Um, and I might be able to get a first or a 2-1 overall, so... Who knows, but yeah, that was really good news for me because I've been getting like semi okay or really bad coursework grades, re grades recently after trying really hard. So that was a little bit of a pick me up the other day when I was revising. So yeah, anyway, I'm just going to go get some breakfast and then I'll be starting a bit of revision before getting ready for my exam. My exam's at 4pm, which is kind of annoying but it's better than last year's exams because last year's Christmas exams some of them went on to eight o'clock in the evening are you okay I had like a seven to eight exam it was stupid and I was so tired but yeah my exam today is four till six that's her, that's her exam Yay! 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 Got first. Yeah, Megan had to have like online tests so they get their results straight back. Yeah, it's so which is weird because they've never experienced it. I was it so before. calm. I was, it's just like a computer. Our computer, but we have a computer. Like it's just a room of thirty people. Oh, it kind of so nice. Um, but yeah, we're walking to Pasta to go. Is, what's it called? Pasta what's it actually called? Cool? Pasta Go Go. Pasta Go Go. We think, yeah. but basically, it's really near where we live. We've um, never turned right before. Yeah. So yeah, we've never turned <laughs> one way on the end of our road. So. Um, we're just gonna go get some pasta um, as a little bit of a procrastination yeah. thing. We got alone yesterday, so feeling very, very blessed. And I'll let you know how good this is for anyone who's in Lincoln because we've been there? wanting to get it for ages. I don't know. I just really fancy like something really cheesy, maybe. Oh yeah. And we want garlic bread as well. Yeah, cool. Yum. Yum. <laughs> actually to go with mine so here is the pasta it's delightful the guy worked really hard to make it beautiful um, it's in a massive tub um, I went for rigatoni with arabiata sauce and then I've got a bit of chicken in there I think I should do anyway and then he's the parmesan on top what have you got cookie pesto we have rigatoni spinach and parmesan pen and then what have you got pesto rigatoni parmesan <laughs> You're so good. And G bread. Oh, I'm really excited. Oh yeah. oh yeah, and we all got garlic bread as well. Oh, oh my god. 
Right. Jesus Christ, that was the best. That honestly, that pasta is the best place I've eaten in Lincoln so far, like out of everywhere. I would highly, highly recommend if you live here. I think you can get it on Just Eat. Just Eat is literally called Pasta Go Takeaway. I don't, I don't even know, like that was honestly the best thing I've eaten. I think they're, they vary from like five to seven pounds, which is like the same as like other takeaway places basically for a whole meal. And we've all literally only been able to eat like half, not even that of the tub. Like we've all just had to put the tubs in the fridge like to save for later. So you technically get, you technically get two meals for one because it's honestly so big. And then we got cheesy garlic bread as well, but they were in baguettes and it was delicious. It's honestly the best thing I've ever eaten <laughs> in Lincoln. So I would highly recommend and you can get it on Just Eat if you are a bit far, further away because it is kind of far out from the like main city centre. It's on the high street still though, but just not the side everyone else goes. So Definitely recommend. I don't know if they do pasta go anywhere else in the UK, but if I, I find out, I'll let you know when I can. And um, yeah, now I'm just about to hop in the shower behind me and get ready for my exam. <laughs> right, so it's time for me to go. Um, I've just got ready. I'm gonna go take my a parcel to send off for someone first, and then I'm gonna head to my exam. I'm so nervous, but... Uh, it's fine when it's over at least that'll be one down and only three to go um and then me and Megan are actually going to the gym afterwards I don't know if Hattie's coming I'll ask her um but we're all gonna go to the gym after I think um to get us back into the swing of things I want to improve my fitness a lot over the year like everyone says so I'm gonna try and go to the gym at least three times a week I've bought Grace Fit's guide if you've seen yesterday's vlog or the previous vlog I mean we're excited to get back into it our resistant bands have come we're going to collect them from the Amazon locker near our gym and um, so we'll be able to use them which is fab and we're going to do a leg and booty workout I think so I'm really excited for that to get back into it and to have a little clear mind and break from like revision and studying I think it'll be nice so yeah I will chat to you when we get to the gym I'm sure I'll film stuff and there's also I'm doing a challenge with Herbalife it's a 21 day challenge with Samantha Clayton who's actually a fitness um, an ex-Olympian who is doing like a fitness challenge thing with Herbalife she set like 21 challenges each day I've been sent out like a load of stuff and um, if you've been like keeping up with my vlogs over Christmas you'll see you'll have seen that Herbalife sent me this like massive load of things to try out and test and like let you guys know how good they are so yeah this isn't like paid for or anything like I'm just telling you my honest opinion and the whole workout thing is free it's on the Herbalife UK blog so if any of you want to join in on the like daily workouts and let me know how you're getting on then I'll leave that down below so you can go and head over there um you can you don't have to like keep up with it you can just do one um a few a week or something if you don't have the time which I probably will be doing because obviously I'm a student so I can't really afford to go every single day to the gym and um, but most of them are like you can do at home anyway so it's really like easy and accessible for those of you that don't have membership so yeah just thought I'd let you guys know that in case anyone wanted to get in with a bit of a free workout. And uh, yeah, I will see you at the gym after my exam and I'll sh I'm sure I'll let you know how I get on, um, how I got on with everything when I come back from the gym. Oh, seriously. <laughs> Hello. We're just doing the Grace Bits leg and booty workout. Yeah, because there's only one leg press now. I need to try and film us, more of us working out, but it's really busy in the gym, and obviously we don't want to like. Uh, the lighting. We, I know we don't want to ruin um, Grace's like plan because you obviously have to pay for it. Yeah. So I don't really want to tell everyone what you have to do, but I want to show that we're doing shit in the gym. P. P. S. We just had testosterone overload. I've got kind of problems. Yeah. <laughs> So we're back from the gym now. I just had a quick mini shower because I was sweating my boobs off. We just did our first um, workout from Grace's Guide and it was very intense, but I feel so good afterwards. Like our legs were jelly as we were walking home. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just did the leg workout. We're gonna try and do abs on Wednesday and then maybe like the booty or the arm one on Friday or Saturday or something. I don't know, probably Saturday because we're planning on getting 
drunk on Friday. We're gonna get like dr really drunk in the house, like me, Megan and Hattie. So we're gonna be filming lots of videos. So let me know what you want us to film. Um, possibly anyway, if they're happy with it. Me and Megan were just sort of talking about it. I in particular was talking about um, doing like a female empowerment video and like talking about how shit it is being female sometimes but also it's a great thing to sort of thing and um, for a taboo tuesday and then i also want to do like another drunk um advice slash deep chats with us because we did one last year it was the last day of first year i'll link that down below it was literally an hour long video it was like a podcast but everyone seemed to really enjoy it and we really enjoyed filming it we ended up getting really emotional towards the end and like crying and stuff and um, but it was like one of my favorite videos i've ever filmed um so i'd like to do that again so if you have any like anything going on in your life right now where you'd want a bit of advice I'll obviously keep it anonymous you can message me on Instagram snapchat Twitter anything like that or even comment down below if you've got like a random personal question or just something funny you think we could answer or something that's going on right now and you want our opinion on it we'll I'll be happy to answer it we'll pretty much answer anything unless it's like really um intense or taboo but I'm pretty sure we'll answer most questions anyway um but now we're just going to watch the end of Luther. I've already seen it. I absolutely loved it. But watching the last episodes again because Megan and Hattie haven't seen it and I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm just going to have the rest of my pasta as well because I've got half it left and a bit of garlic bread so yay. Also the point of this vlog my exam went really really well like I'm so happy with how well it went. I can't believe um I can't believe the questions like obviously I don't know if I've got them all right but I've done better than I thought I was going to do in it which has given me a good mindset for the rest of my exams which usually it's the other way around I have a really shit exam and then it puts me in a shit mood but um I think this exam went well all the maths I really enjoyed doing which sounds really weird to say but because I'd worked so hard on the maths I was hoping a lot would come up and it felt nice like being able to do it and understanding it um some of the written questions mm, I don't know but because they're interpretive so I'm not really sure but yeah hey ha um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to get some food. Hello everyone, so it is Tuesday. It's Tuesday and it's a big revision day for us all. We're all very tired and we can't be asked. but um, we're having to do a whole day of revision. I've got an exam tomorrow morning at 9 till 11. So I've been revising for that. I have my crime scene investigation, my advanced crime scene investigation module. So I'm revising all that now. I've just gone through the investigation the investigative process, forensic strategy, blood pattern analysis, crime scene management, um, what else have I gone through? I think they're the things I've gone through so far but I need to go through it a lot more so um, I'm just gonna film, put you on the side and film us revising maybe to give you some motivation to do some work if you need to. <laughs> We're so done with work. <laughs> it's only it's only Tuesday. Concentration so on anger may cause them to perceive anger where it does not exist. Looking out for anger can end up in more fights. What? <laughs> I'm just currently doing a. We answer the door to the pest control like this. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Makes the cat no eyebrows look. Just like this, everybody. Oh, no Hello. <laughs> Upstairs. I was like, no, because he knocked and I went, hello, you're in the jungle. Yeah, we all get, keep getting panicked because we've been watching Luther and we think everyone who's knocking on the door is going to kill us. Yeah. Yay. Eww. Yeah, but the pest control, everything's sorted. Um, 40. 40. Don't know if we can carry on. I'm currently doing a lecture called Bodies at Scene. <laughs> going through and coming across some disturbing images um but however we have made a good decision Yay. and put all of our plans that we've got to look forward to we'll put all of our um current plans that we have on here there it does say wild friday i don't know if you can see but we've got this door up there so that the boys can't see us whilst we're revising <laughs> but yeah we've got base camp on saturday we're watching lame on saturday as well then we've got harry potter world and nottingham we've booked like a 
We booked a train to Nottingham, so we're going to spend the day there next Saturday. Oh. <laughs> I, was, I was so zoomed in because I zoomed in first. <laughs> jokes. Me and Megan have been like sat downstairs revising for absolutely ages, literally the whole day from about, about like 12 o'clock until half five it is now. Um, so I've just done my makeup. I'm gonna film a couple of videos just as a break because I feel like I haven't stopped all day and my head's starting to hurt. So I thought filming some videos get me into a better spirit and then I can finish off my revision this evening. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be filming a like New Year's resolution slash mindset slash goals for 2019. And then I'm thinking about filming a winter clothing haul or part of a winter clothing haul, um, which will be going up soon. I wanna start getting more hauls up on my channel because I just, I feel like I've been missing them in my life. I need to get some new clothes and stuff as well and I'm gonna be putting all of my um, current stuff on my Depop, like I've been saying. So yeah, anyway, I'm just about to film a vid and then I'll catch up with you later when I'm back to work. Right, so basically, situation. Um, we've literally just been revising all day. We got a Nando's lol. <laughs> um, and I filmed some vids and I've just finished Wait. off my revision. Basically, pest control came earlier and sort of like solved the issue about I know people are going to go crazy about like yeah. ethi ethics and stuff, but what are we supposed to do? I know, like, there's We've a, got rat. a hole in a rat that could have any kind of disease. Like yeah, true. Like, it's there's a hole that leads that the rat can get into my room, and we've decided it's a rat. Basically, the pest control guy said that if it was a mouse, then it would take the bait straight yes. away and it would like obviously die, but we've got a fucking rat because it's like scurrying around. It's been keeping Hat like frustrated for a few hours. It's like so loud and it's going back and forth all around my room and like it's, it's definitely yeah. a rat. Yeah. It's, it's 100 percent a rat. It's it's so loud, like I couldn't hear it but up to be fair I was editing. So yeah, it feels like it's gonna fucking fall through my ceiling. Yeah, honestly, it's yeah, an, it it's an awful sound, especially when we're all trying to sleep and like the thought of a rat. Yeah, and I've awful, got like I've well. got a hole in my yeah, room, like cool. I really want to, I hope you can hear it on the vlog. I really want it to pick up them sounds, but it's so loud. My room is safe, because my room, I never hear it now. Yeah. So I reckon there's something going up that blocks my Yeah, he said to me it's really popular in terraced houses having rats, and that it happens all the time, and he's like always called to these sort of areas. Because we're near water, aren't we, as well? But like... Is that my room? No, that's, that's it. It's so fucking loud. I really hope you can hear that. It's like scuttling and it's like running from the hallway into Hat's room and back underneath my floor. What I'm imagining is it's been up there for weeks and there's it's, shit. And it's and getting it bigger and yeah. it's getting bigger. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, that's e what I heard. it's, it's eating my shit. It's like not that loud. No, I tried to feel it was like it was scratching. Work. Yeah, it was, it was like, it always woke me up in the night. And I was like, oh, I'm refined. So we left it all over Christmas. And after Christmas, exactly. the fucking rat hole. I was yeah. thinking it was so like, Yeah, like we thought, I yeah. don't know. Oh, you just didn't think, oh, you just yeah. didn't think that. Like, the worst, the worst it got was just before Christmas when like you were oh awake God, and it was yeah. keeping you awake we and me awake. at the same time, put in the group chat like the fucking mouse. Yeah. And like I stood up and it was like moving underneath my carpet and then I was like no and I thought I was imagining it but clearly I wasn't like it's, it's fucking massive and like it scratches at the carpet like repeatedly and then obviously now it made over Christmas whilst we were away it's made a hole like imagine if I was there and it was making the hole that's so horrible because we were away the house was silent so yeah. obviously it would be scared hearing our voices maybe that's why it's running around yeah and because it was been silent it was like oh fucking Go and see what's up here. Like, yeah. yeah. And it ate a whole tube of my hand cream. And sorry, but a mouse. Yeah, a mouse wouldn't have Lock survived that. Yeah, <laughs> it got stole my lochita. <laughs> lochita hand cream. It makes it stank. And me and, and we had to get my uncle's builder, and he he chopped up the floorboard and like got it out. We're just researching like what to do if we've got rats underneath our floorboards, and it says, "Don't lay poisons," which is obviously what pest control did earlier, because that's like they gave us no choice. And um, then it's like, "So, because dead rats are even worse." We need a trained rat your, catching dog. Yeah, we your house, your house will be filled with sickening smells, whilst maggots and flies have a feeding frenzy beneath your house. We need to bring Inga here. She's fucking sick. Oh yeah. Yeah. She always kills mice. That's good. I think bring her, when you go home, bring her back down oh, yeah. and she can live with us for a little bit. She's a little bitch. She'll be like... No, 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 no. These red signs are scaring me. What? The risk of disease from a rat corpse is often worse. The risk of disease. 
Oh, I don't want a disease. I'm really scared. I don't need that. Like, I've literally had such a tragic end to 2018. I don't need a fucking... <laughs> Sorry, my ring oh, my on. fucking hell. Don't do that. <laughs> Jesus. I don't need a rat corpse in the hole, near the hole, because it will happen near the hole. It's not if giving it us drink, any... If it eats all the poisons. No, we'll just say... He no, said... We'll be able to see the did... shit out of the landlord if yeah. we get ill from it. Yeah. yeah. So that's a plus. We'll get millions. <laughs> <laughs> He, no, he did oh, say yeah. it could take two to three days before the rat uh, before a rat dies okay. from the poisons. I don't know how long I can be dealing with this. Then we've got a dead Is rat. It, yeah. It doesn't get rid of the issue. No. no. I'd rather have it scurrying around than be dead and, and rotting. Yeah. And diseasing Which, up the place. Oh, it says, unlike mice, rats cannot survive without a regular water supply. So where's it getting water from? I don't like it. When I'm out, he's taking a shower. <laughs> <laughs> like that, like that um, vine of that little rat in the skin. like a rat even you. And he goes, he goes, yeah. <laughs> that is so weird, like, he's standing on his back legs and got, it's a real rat. Yeah. <laughs> A real rat. <laughs> <laughs> this is all it says information for rats in house. Well, if you have rats in your really home, yeah. <laughs> sorry for you. Me and Megan just finished at the gym. Um, we just said we look like twins because we just bought loads of gym wear from Primark. We're literally wearing the same top. We've got, yep, yeah, got the same Primark, big Primark bag. We're just wearing the exact same outfit. We'll show you what we got from the from Primark when we get back because we've got so much, uh, so many new gym wear things. So this is really good quality from what I've worn today. Um, but I really want to. I'm intrigued about the leggings because I don't know how see through they're gonna be. <laughs> to be honest, so we'll have a look when we get back. My exam went well, which is good. Um, yeah, my exam went well, and that's about it. So we're just heading home to get some food and to get back into work, yay. Right, so we've just come back from the gym. I've got a few exciting things that we've planned that I haven't said yet, but basically we've like been planning loads of things to look forward to and it's been like getting me really pumped and like positive and in a good mindset. I'm not saying that um, you have to plan stuff to look like be happy but that's how I like focus on and um, like doing well and it's good for my mental health so I always like plan stuff ahead like with my boyfriend to like give me um things to look forward to with him because obviously I don't see him as often when we're at uni and then it's really fun that me and Megan and Hattie have like booked so many things to do so we're going to Nottingham next week we've booked a spa day for the summer just after our exams finish which is going to be amazing and we've just got in contact with, with a hairdresser who is like a balayage specialist in Lincoln and she's pretty near us so we're really excited and we're all going to get our like hair transformed so I'll obviously be vlogging that day whenever that happens it should be within January though fingers crossed if it all goes well but the lady seems really nice so I'll obviously link her down below in the video when we get our hair, hair transformed so that's exciting um my exam went well which i did just talk about just after the gym um i felt like i knew all of the questions like pretty well there was just one that i was a bit like hmm like i don't think i've got full marks on it or anything but um it went pretty well like i know i've passed it i'm hoping that i get obviously a 2-1 or something though at least so fingers crossed um, but I just really need to get on with my work now because my l hardest two exams are tomorrow and Friday. So uh, I'm feeling a bit worried, but I've got a few things to show you. One being this lovely piece of blogger mail that I've just been sent and come home to. So it's from a brand called, called Skintology and they've sent me their Thirst Quench Kit, which is a kit of four hydrating masks. It says that it has next level of biocellulose um, with new technology for superior results and it literally sounds heavenly, especially for my dry skin. So um, I'm really looking forward to trying these out and the packaging's really cool too, I'll show you. Sort of like metallic-y and just, it just looks super super cool so I'm really excited I'll leave the link to them down below in case anyone else wants to check them out but yeah I really appreciate that we're going to try them out tonight and I'll let you know how they work and then I'll come in here it's kind of grim grim lighting grim whatever but this is what I wore to the gym anyway I wore black cycling shorts my adidas falcons 
and then my this new black zip up thing from Primark it's like literally it zips down all the way but I'm not going to zip it all the way down because I don't have anything under underneath but the material's really good especially for the gym I love an all black thing I was looking for like a black top and I just like that it zips all the way down it's very freeing and just a really nice comfortable material for the gym and but yeah that's just black so you can't really say much about it but I've got some other things in here me and Megan had a little Primark splurge so I got this which is like a I'll see if I can put it on here I'm gonna wear this now because it looks so cozy so you'll see it on in a minute it was 12 pounds um and it's sort of like a peach color it's like a big baggy sweater I just thought this would be so cozy for lounging around in and just if I'm going out to do a few errands or something not something too fancy but it just looks really comfy and I got it in a size large so it was like oversized um then I got this little set which I've seen quite a few people with but I just really liked it myself so it's a little gym set, two piece. It's like light grey and then it like ombres into pastel pink and I just think it's really cute. Again, it's like the zipper style that I've got on um, now, the black one that I've got on now, it's very similar. And um, this was £10. And then I got the matching leggings. So I've got the matching grey leggings. This band looks really, um, really tight and I'm really excited to see whether you can see through these or not and again the pink at the bottom they feel really really um good quality though for the price these were eight pounds and then I got two pairs of Primark leggings which I'm not 100% sure run I might be returning these but these were three pounds these are three pounds I got them in medium and then I got the medium here as well um for a different style of them but they, they would these were like two pounds so yeah, fingers crossed these all are okay. I'll let you guys know if I'm returning any because I don't want you guys buying any if they're shit quality. But yeah, now I'm just going to go grab some food and start doing my molecular bio biology revision. And fingers crossed I don't cry because it's literally the bane of my life. So I've actually just tried on this little hoodie thing. I'm going to talk about it more because I'm going to do like a trying Primark gym wear slash like lounge wear video. But this is super comfy. I'm so happy with it. Yay! <laughs> chilling and watching some YouTube and editing myself. I've been going through my cue cards, they're next to me on my bed repeatedly and nothing is going in so I'm starting to really worry because I don't feel like I know anything for my exam tomorrow. So I don't know what to do, I've, I've given up because I've been doing it for hours, nothing's like going in so what's the point, like to keep trying. Um, so I'm going to wait until I've got a fresh head in the morning and hopefully I can just bash loads of revision out before my exam at 4 o'clock, so who knows. I know these t next two exams are not going to go as good as my other two, so it's going to be a bit shit, but at least you can celebrate and have a nice week afterwards and hopefully I'll be able to forget about them. All I want to do now is pass, to be honest, these last two exams because then I'll be able to get like a half okay grade and it I won't fail but essentially like I don't really care at this point I'm tired and low because I nothing's going in and I'm getting frustrated with myself but yeah I'm gonna watch some YouTube to make myself feel better and then set an alarm for early tomorrow so I can get cracking quickly <laughs> we're all in the same house on FaceTime <laughs> hey guys yeah we're just lying in bed feeling sorry for myself because I'm gonna fail my exam tomorrow it's funny because I can hear you downstairs. It is Thursday afternoon. I've been revising all morning and I'm so stressed out because this is probably my hardest exam alongside tomorrow's. Um, I've got molecular biology. It is. It has a lot of content, like probably double the content of all of my other modules. So it's been a lot to squeeze in like over the p past few weeks. And then obviously I've been revising for the other ones as well. It's very intense having four exams in the same week. I don't know why they do it. I'd rather have, uh, have had two exams next week and two this week because I have a whole week off next week. Um, but I guess it's something to look forward to because I've got like, I think four 
things planned for next week, which is exciting. So at least the vlogs will be good for you guys and at least I'll have like a really good time off. It's just now I'm feeling so stressed in the moment and it's, it's fine. I'll feel a lot better tomorrow when everything's done. Just to make the matter worse, um, I've come on my period. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna stop saying like too much information stuff, but this is just how I am, like periods and shouldn't be taboo, like everyone gets them. Everyone always goes like TMI, but I mean, like we all have them, so I don't know why we don't talk about it more. So I'm just gonna tell you guys. But yeah, that has made the matter worse for me because I suffer really badly with cramps. I am literally, my stomach is seizing up. That's why I've come to bed, like to my bed to sit down for like half an hour before I carry on doing work because I'm in so much pain. Um, and I just remembered I have these pads and honestly, I cannot wait. I'm going to put one on. I'm going to show you exactly how these work because I've mentioned them in a few of my other vlogs when they first sent them because I was so sceptical. I was like, hmm, I wonder how these are going to work. Like, I don't get how they're going to sort out my excruciating pains. Um, but it's a brand called BU. They've created these like little pads. They're literally strips. I'll show you in a second. They're like plasters. I honestly do not know how they work, but they like solve my problems. So I'm going to put one on um, any second now and it will last me the whole day. Like honestly, they're so long lasting. And um, I think it says it lasts up to 12. Yeah, up to 12 hours relief, fast acting, natural ingredients. So this is great for anyone who doesn't like products that are like tested on animals and don't like to use like chemicals and stuff like that if it doesn't sit right on your skin if you've got sensitive skin i have sensitive skin but um stuff like this wouldn't have affected me anyway but this is is great that it has that feature um and it says i'm see if there's anything else it says usage suggestions at school at work while sleeping while traveling and so far i use this a lot when i'm about to go to sleep because that's where i'm more prone to getting period pains for some reason so um I always pop these on before I go to bed if I've got cramps and I'm literally asleep within 10 seconds. The scent, um, I think it's the it's got eucalyptus oil in, menthol, that's the strongest scent, like the strong minty scent. That's what like sort of calms me and like sends me to sleep really quickly. So it's actually quite good for my sleeping pattern too. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna open these up and show you what they have. These, I think they have five patches in them, yeah. Each pack contains five strips. I'm gonna open this up now. I was going to film on my camera, but I've left my SD card in my laptop downstairs and I can't be asked to get it whilst I'm chilling here. So, um, literally I got one of these in my, but, um, Betty box this month. So I've got even more stocked up. So I'm really excited about that. So inside, oh, oh, the smell is like, as soon as you take that strip off it, like that menthol smell is so strong. So I like the packaging as, as well. Cause it's like really sleek and you could like pop this in your bag if you needed to. Um, and here it comes in a little pack. I'll get one of the strips out because I'm going to place one on my stomach. So they literally are a plaster. Look, it just has a sticky back, it's a, it's a sticky adhesive back here. This sort of like blends into my skin colour to be fair. So it's quite nice as well. It's really thin so it doesn't like show under clothing, which is fab. Um, so you literally just, they're very, very sticky so you have to be careful. I pop one on my lower stomach and then sometimes if I'm having a really bad day, I'll pop one on my back as well. So there it is. Got my little pad there. <laughs> I'm just showing you my crotch, standard. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I literally leave that on there if I'm having a really bad day with pains. Like, I, to be fair, I have back, back pains right now, so I might pop one on before I go to my exam. Um, But I'll put one on my stomach and one on my back, and it will literally relieve my pain within, like, within 10 minutes. Like, my pain is, like, completely, like, gone. Like, it doesn't even, like, it, like, gradually slows it down, and then, bang, it's gone after, like, 10 minutes, so... I am super impressed with those. I thought I'd mention them because obviously I'm struggling right now and it's perfect for like exam season and things where you're going to need to go in. Like there's no, I can't just stay in because I'm not feeling well. <laughs> I have to go in, it's my exam. So I thought I'd let you guys know about those. Um, and they did, I have been working with them and stuff. So although like I've been speaking about them because I'm working with them, it is 100% genuine. Like I can't explain how quick they work and I don't get it. Like I'm like, how is this working? It's all natural ingredients. And it's like just like a little plaster that goes on my stomach, but I'm just so impressed with how quickly they react and sort my life out. So yeah, massive thumbs up to be you. I'll leave the a link down below. I don't know if I've got like a code or anything, but if I do, then I'll, I'll be sure to leave it down there so you guys, you guys can go and use it. I can't remember how much they are, but I will link, put that on the screen up here. Yeah, anyway, back to revision.
just treated myself to a Cafe Nero because my exam was not the one. <laughs> it went so bad. I'm, def I'm definitely going to have to retake that in August. I'm laughing now because I'm in public, but when I get home, I will be sobbing. <laughs> so yeah, the only option really was to get myself a Cafe Nero to cheer me up because otherwise I won't carry on with my chemistry revision tonight. It's Coronation Day! It's Coronation Day! So what's the song? Is there a song that goes the Yeah, it's... The window is open, so is that door. door. I didn't know they did that anymore. Who knew we all did? I halls. Why have a ballroom with the balls? Finally, we're opening up the gates. <laughs> okay. More. 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 Keep going. Wait, where were we? <laughs> oh, I've got. Finally, we're opening up the gate. Yeah, because the first time in forever. I actually can't remember that very well. That's really no. bad. <laughs> it's really bad of me. Meg's, Meg's just updating this because we're all getting our hair transformed. Transformation, transformation Tuesday. Wait, no, transformation day. It's not even on a Tuesday. That's Instagram caption. Yeah. Transformation Tuesday. <laughs> on the Friday. <laughs> Woo! We're getting on the 1st of Feb, Feb, Meg's just adjusting the board. Really she's she's finally free. How do you feel about that? Really weird. Because oh. <laughs> I don't feel like, I can't imagine that feeling right now because I feel what so... That's I'm saying. But like, so, so when we do have that, when it is over, like in summer, we're just bored shitless. But right now we're like, can't fucking leave. Yeah. yeah. I'm bored shitless because you guys aren't being funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, my exam went anyway. fucking awful. Like I couldn't answer... Like I had to pick four out of these six questions at the end and I didn't understand three of them. So I only did three and I only managed to fill one complete question and the others I did parts of it, so. But next term you'll be handling a skeleton. Yeah, I'm just looking at my human identification module which I have next month that looks really interesting and no test. At the, well, I think I have an in-class test which is kind of weird. That's bullshit. But yeah, that's that's I real. think I've had one before in my CSI module from my first well, ever semester. Oh. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I feel like shit, but I'm trying to pr pretend it didn't happen because I need to focus on tomorrow's, otherwise I'm not going to do anything, so. Yay. Mm -hmm. At least the hair bit's kind of made me a bit happier. Yeah, actually. Well, so, uh, we'll have Nottingham. Nottingham. We just need to put like one more thing and then that's <laughs> mm, Finally, can... we're opening up the gates. I really don't know if it does go into first time, but I can't I picture the... The I'm sure it goes for the yeah. first time. This is how I get distracted because yeah. earlier I wanted to know what Millie T's last name was. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was like, wait, what's yeah, Millie T's actual last name? I was mostly right. Yeah. For the first time. Oh my god, wait. Head down this mountain together. You don't have to live in fear. Because for the first time in forever. We should Where's the. Pantomime. Yeah, we should. But no, seriously, where is the actual first lyric? Oh, oh here. Yeah. The windows open, open, so that door. I didn't I know they did that anymore. anymore. Who knew we owed 8,000 salad plates? For years I've roamed these empty halls. Why have a ballroom with no balls? Finally, they're opening up the gate. Yeah, I knew there was a little bit before. The will be actual real life people. It'll be totally strange. But wow, am I so ready for this change? <laughs> Do the wait, go out. Yeah. Go, do the um, what's it? Let's go, girls. <laughs> Let's go, girls. Let's go, girls. Going vlogging. out tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is it still vlogging? So sure. Wait, do that as your one second. Well, that doesn't look. <gasps> wait, do, what? Just do that as your one second. My one second would be. Let's go, girls. 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 <laughs> right, I'm back in the room. Just been going through all my chemistry math stuff for tomorrow. I'm feeling a little bit better because I have the maths um, 
I've got the maths down, which I think is going to be very useful for tomorrow. At least I'll be able to get all the math stuff. But I need to go through the rest of the processes. I'm going to go through a couple tonight and then go through them all tomorrow. But basically, um, the majority of my exam is based around 12 different like chemical techniques for separation. So um, there's stuff like, for anyone interested, there's stuff like different types of chromatography, like thin layer chromatography, gas chromatography, SEM, EDX, X-ray, fluorescence. ELISA which is enzyme linked immunoabsorbent assay have I got that right just a lot of a lot of techniques to take in because you have to we have to know like quite a lot about them like the function how you draw a diagram of it and um, pros and cons of each one and stuff like that so there's a quite a lot of information to take in considering there's 12 techniques but if I get like four down today and um, get the rest done throughout the whole of the morning then my exams at three so um, going over them again will hopefully be okay and hopefully it will just go better than today's. I, ha I am struggling like a little bit about today's one. I'm trying not to show it too much on the vlog because I want to I want to prove like and I, I do know that it's not the end of the world if one of my exams goes wrong like it really isn't like it's we well not we all because some people literally don't give a shit and I somehow sometimes wish that that was me and me and Hat were saying earlier like we kind of wish we didn't give a fuck so much um, because we literally think it's the end of the world if like one of our exams goes wrong or we get a shit coursework, coursework grade back or it just something comes back and it's not as good as we expect it's not the end of the world like exams and a little grade on a piece of paper I know a lot of people say like oh it doesn't define you um and, but sometimes it can hurt like I find it especially difficult especially from today when I've worked really hard over Christmas obviously I could have worked harder but the fact that I had four exams in one week has made it more difficult because I've had to like my brain's been thinking about three other subjects that I'm doing so I haven't been able to put my all into biology otherwise I'd have been, got a better grade or like done well way better than I did today in my exam but um I worked really hard like throughout d December and now I'm like oh I might as well have just like fucked it off and just spent had a good time with my family instead of like constantly worrying about working and going to the library like me and Megan went to the library quite a few days and I was sitting in my room doing cue cards night after night during Christmas when I should have just spent time with my family if I was going to just do shirts so yeah that's what I'm more stressed about that my time has been wasted and all of that hard work has just gone to waste um because i know that i'm probably not going to pass that exam and i'm going to have to retake in august and i'm thinking that's so embarrassing but if i was looking at anyone else i wouldn't find it embarrassing for them i'd just be like oh that's absolutely fine it's just when you when you start overthinking things like this it's a bit shit but yeah it's like if my coursework would have gone a bit better i'd have been a bit more secure but because it's not like one of the highest piece of coursework i've produced i'm a bit like help me please yeah, anyway, I'm just going to try and get myself out of this mood, carry on, focus, um, get on with my work. I think I'm going to do a bit of tidying of my room too, so I might feel a bit of that because a clear space makes a clear mind. Our fourth and final exam is in almost two hours time so I'm just gonna make some food I've been like revising all morning again like usual so I'm gonna make some food well get some food from yesterday and reheat it and keep looking through my work until I have to leave I literally cannot wait for this day to be over this exam to be over so we can enjoy tonight it's wild friday
exams are finally over, which in the best mood. It feels weird, like I'm gonna take them off. Oh, I look so weird now. <sighs> It's finally over, all of them exams are gone, all of that information is no longer needed, well, some of it is, but I'm so happy they're all over. Um, if anyone cares, my chemistry exam was like 50-50, so my two exams I had earlier on in the week, my like maths -y professional practice one, and then my crime scene investigation one were my two favourites, like, I feel like I'd done best on those two, then my molecular biology yesterday was an absolute flop, like, I actually think I failed the exam, and then today was like 50-50, like, I feel like I've done enough to pass, but... I haven't like excelled in it, so probably gonna get a relatively shit grade on that too, but I'll, I'll, I'll hopefully have passed that. Yeah, so exam week has been a lot of stress, a lot of constant go, like I've been literally sleeping, breathing, eating revision, so I cannot wait to have this fucking week off, like and have just a break, it'll be so lovely. Um, I'm gonna treat myself to all this time off, I've got lots of things coming up, so I'm gonna be vlogging it all. Would you prefer another weekly vlog or would you prefer daily? Because I do prefer daily because I like getting them up so I can like speak to you guys rather than having to wait the whole week to upload. But obviously it was only um, this, the only sort of option this week with my exams. Um, but yeah, let me know if you've liked this. Sorry, it's a long one. Um, and when you're watching this, if you're watching this Friday night when I've uploaded it, me, Hattie and Megan are getting drunk in the house. We're going to be filming some vids. So if you have any like interesting dilemmas or burning questions, things a bit more personal that you don't, not a lot of people would answer, um, comment them either down below or if you're like obviously like going into a, like a private matter that you don't want to be seen or whatever, you can just message me on Instagram or Snapchat or Twitter DM or anything like that and we'll be giving you advice and stuff. We're going to be doing um, lots of the videos that we did last year like our pre-drink with us and like deep chats and stuff so if you have anything you want to ask, leave it down below or message me because I'll be filming that now. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to hit thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe down below if you're new, and I will see you at the weekend for a new vlog. I can't wait, the fun vlogs are back. Bye.